Good morning guys, welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. So, it's truck show time. Feeling a little rough this morning. Somehow Steve ended up here last night. And a bunch of other people. I had to hold the couch down. Yeah, I mean it was, it's definitely a rough night. I think there's probably videos floating out there that are fake and I definitely was not intoxicated. All right, now that I've had a parking lot war with a bunch of parking lot vultures. Morning. Good morning. How are hey, you? Here? Hey, we made it, baby. Uh -oh. Morning. They're having a party down there. I heard it. Yeah, I went down. You weren't there, and I had to get back. Oh, I understand. Man, it got crazy yesterday. A slow motion entrance. I mean, go. Hold on. Hey, I'll be back. Be blowing the while you come in. Sure. <laughs> I am here. No, I wish I would have recorded that though. It's a, here's our truck. No, I'll definitely be recording. Where do you want me to start? Wherever you feel like it's the nastiest. <laughs> this guy. Like, Listen, you get a shiny spot on this truck, it's going to be like putting a new chandelier in a haunted house. <laughs> Listen, no, I mean, really, there's a better chance of me uh, selling snow cones in hell than getting a date around here. <laughs> I can probably find you a good woman. Buy me one. Okay. I can find you a good woman. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, this guy's taking everybody's lady. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. I'm where, is, where is your wife at today? <laughs> She's, you leave my wife alone. Come here. Don't you take my wife from me. You've already took enough. You can see it's coming off. Oh my goodness, it is actually. Yeah. See how much is coming off there? Yeah. It's hard to clean a pretty truck like this. It's already clean. It's hard to clean a truck. It's pretty much fall apart. Hey, this truck looks. I love it. Ain't he so, I ain't I, just, I, I ain't it. He so mean? Listen, actually. I don't know why people hate him so much. Like, they come in I, 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 I love a cab over. I love a cab over. I'm like, one of the truck's out there, just not Tim's. He just got to pick on Tim. <laughs> That's what he's got to do. Listen, if I didn't get to pick on Tim, guys, I would just. I went back on the Corbin and watched them book shifters because this is this is what my day consists of. Waking up and like, what can I do to Tim today? <laughs> Pretty so, much. Yeah. He's done been at me all morning, so. So, this is what we've taken off of there so far. Not hey, that is actually hard to get off. I was trying to get it off yesterday, so. Okay. But what it ends up doing is giving you a protective surface. Yeah. Right. No fingerprint. Really, what I would do with this. Yeah. I would get my power, my power drill with a very, very soft button pad. And then this. Just keep on going. Going yeah. over it. Because if you notice, you keep going over it, it's getting better. Because the clay bar, this is clay bar, yep. nibble wax, coconut oil, and water. Yep. And our patent is how we downsize that. That means the clay bar is so small, it can get in those. So that'll work there. for a good protective service? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the carnauba lays yeah. down right after the clay bar picks up the dirt. So. She didn't get her pink truck, so she's getting it. Oh, this is this is this is the pink truck. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, let's see it. You might want to video this one. You don't have a truck. You gonna video this one? Yeah. This is one for your home. Oh. That's beautiful. I love it. You didn't get your pink truck, so I had to have you put a. Well, that pink, is so special. A pink um, cross on there. That's, That's sweet, That's beautiful. Of you. I'm hanging this up. Appreciate that, that guys. Goes with him. Just our little side thing we do. Be a different world, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good. Because It'd be like 1990 again. He owns his semis. Yeah. That, that shows him that, like, yeah, I own this. This is. But gives him a work ethic, some work for. Work ethic. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. Hey, check this guy out. What was up? Dude, what the heck? Why'd you throw it down? Can I get the 
like, I was finally gonna put you on the channel. I, I have asked my job. Oh. That's the only way I did. <laughs> you three quartered it. <laughs> you went past the half. Is this what the people really want to see? Is me jacking your truck down? Yeah. Is this what they want? This is what they want. This is what you want. Quality content right here. Thank you, man. I'm a YouTube follower. All right, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. You know, Quite relented. Yeah. 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 That is awesome. Hop up there. Check this thing out. What do you think about that thing? Is that cool or what? There we go, baby. He wanted a good signature. Rob had to come down and give, give it to him. Give him one. He had your old rotten signature he wanted to go with. <laughs> What a show, guys. What a show. Okay. 
Yeah, the whole box truck looks like more. Dang, that one's huge. Oh my goodness. But that looked good behind the 389. Oh, that looked beautiful. Jeez. Guys, check this bad boy out. This is a move all. So nice. I like this top deck too. Oh my goodness, this would look so good behind the 389. Spread the whole nine yards. That would look good behind the 389 as well. Shoot. Dude, definitely this trailer. This is the one. All right, guys, show's over. Let's get the heck out of here. We gotta get all these trucks out. Woo! You know, I had a really awesome time with all the fans and beating everybody. Ready to be done. I've been on my feet for four days straight. You got to build up air pressure? Yeah. Dude, mine was shorted out. Braxton left the cap down on the ground wire. <laughs> Walmart truck right there. Same motor too. <laughs> Guys, I finally found the man. I mean, oh, the show no. might be over. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> but we we finally met up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're this guy's up. been busy shaking hands, uh, kissing babies. You, you better know. stop. This man right here, <laughs> legendary man. Dude, we have a great time. Yeah. Good show. Glad to see you guys here, man. Always, man. We'll and see thank you, you for uh, you know when the fire happened, all the Hey, man. I'm just glad your that. family and everything's all right, and you're back up, man. Hey, I uh, got people like this behind us. Let's go. You man. know, that's what things work. Woo! It's cold. Everybody, I want to thank everybody for everything you did at the SHQ booth. Y'all did, y'all guys did an awesome job this year. Yes. Thank everybody for coming by. Yep. Everybody come by and seeing them. Right. Jesse out there around her mouth. Everybody. Right. <laughs> Don't give me started. Don't oh give yeah. Do you see her shirt? You like it? You know what? Oh, yeah. I got you in that shirt, Bill. <laughs> uh, That's all right. I got you. Next hey, time I you told you to come down and get one. Next time you want a fancy that light box, I want you to, I want you to go. I want to remind you about the fact that I ain't got no shirt. I want to make you a t-shirt on one. I might have messed up. Yeah, you might want to go get you a uh, shirt. I was worried for getting Hey, that's no. all. The whole show you've seen, SH Tube and Gentry and Judge everywhere. 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 I mean, I don't have drunk. one. But everywhere. It is drunk. <laughs> I don't have one, and you're going to need, I'm sure, a grill or, you know, some business. Some business cut out that laser. <laughs> it's going to take an extra week or two. Mine. Next year. going to bring another cab over for us to work on. And then we're going to drive it right off the lot. Hey, I'm dropping one off on the way home. Oh, well, you stuck there for a while.
It'd be a little hard to get to now. I mean, you know, just saying. Oh, man. I heard you got a bunch of trophies or something. We got, yeah, yeah, we got a couple. You got a couple? Six. Oh, oh God. So you took all the trophies. <laughs> we had to get a, we, we actually bought that dump trailer over there from that old boy so we can haul all our trophies back. <laughs> well, look at these rides, man. Holy crap. Yeah. Dude, they look amazing. Yeah. We worked hard on these, man. This is the, this is the, Famous uh, broke motor a week before the show right here. Is this the one you put the motor in? Yeah. Golly, we bro. just finished uh, last week. It was all done, and then we just drove it, and then it wasn't done. So, <laughs> so yeah, we, and then you drove it up here. Then we drove it up here. Yeah, drove good. Holy crap. Man, this thing is yeah. Like, is this the one y'all was lifting the uh, sleeper off of the forklift? This is it. Oh, it, my God. Yeah, we had the whole cab and sleeper off, motor out. We took it, uh, this was a spring ride, we put an air ride under it. We had a C18, and of course that blew up, but uh, we got a 6 in it now. It sounds good. Yeah. It sounds real good. Damn, dude, this thing absolutely looks amazing. Is, it that, is this that stuff that was in there? White and Jack Dustin? Yeah, I talked to them about doing our truck. Yeah. 389. We've been in and out a bunch, but... You can see when it gets dirty, if you just wipe it down with a wet cloth, it's clean again. And if it gets real, real dirty, you just pull it out and, uh, and power wash it with a bag. Oh my goodness, guys. This thing is amazing. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Now this is a sweet, sweet truck. It's a working truck. Look at that, 800,000 miles. Is that 800,000 or 1.8? Me. 800,000. So she's a working girl. It was a working girl. We're, we retired it. Well, yeah. it looks to be, it looks, it deserves to be retired. This is a beautiful ride, man. Yeah. Uh, so we won, we won second place overall. And it came down to, the judges came over and showed me. And I mean, it was just, a, I mean, a couple of the smallest details. I'll yeah. show you what it was. Like these bolts right here, they come from the factory. Oh man, you're kidding. You see? Yeah. I would have never thought about that. We literally lost the show over like that. That's what the judges came and showed me. And you worked your butt off to win this year. And it's so, I mean, it's just like you got all this in the judges. That That's how particular the show is. And of course, that's why I want to win first place. Right. You know, because. I mean, you, so, you earn it when you do win. Yeah. I mean, it, it, for the judges, I pick on them because, you know, I don't know them that well, but I pick on everybody, but they're old. Right. They're legitimately old, but I'm going to tell you what, the suckers got some eyes on them because they're looking at all this stuff, and then they see something like that, and it's like... That kind of gives me some respect for them, the fact that they did look yeah. that deep. And for them to... I, I guess I say it like this. For them to look at this whole unit, inside and out, up and down and everywhere, and then that's all they found... That's pretty good. That's just pretty good. I mean, I wish I, I wish you'd put a Detroit in it, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. Nah, no, I like my guineas. If, if we'd have put a Detroit in it, then it, it would have been a loafing right now. Yeah. Did you hear that old junk old cab over come around through there? <laughs> trying to pick a fight. Yeah. That thing's just, oh, it's ornery. Yeah. It's fun to drive, though, it is. But man, this right here is impressive. This is way beyond. I mean, I'm hoping maybe one day to be on this level, but I know what you put into it. And I, I really, honestly hope to be where you're at one day. I mean, trucking-wise, company-wise, I mean, I follow you. You're you're the person I follow, so. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> everybody's got that person, and you're no, that one. And the funny thing is, is like, I was following, or I am, I'm following you, and I'm like, man, how does he do so good on social media? And then, for you to say that, I, I appreciate it. Man, you guys work hard. You do. I guess we're just following each other. Yeah. It's cool, though, man. I, I've enjoyed it this year, and just the fact to get to meet people like you and um, see this kind of work. Because next I'm, year, we just get a booth together. And we just park yeah. both of our trucks in there, and we'll just sit in there and just meet people. We need to. Did you see how crazy it was in there? I saw. Dude. I went by your booth a bunch of times, and, and uh, I, you know, I stopped to say hi once. When you uh, were taking one break, you know, it was, it, and it was only 50 people lined up. <laughs> it was crazy, man. It's just, it's just crazy, man. It's cold out here, too. 
That's just in the wind there. How the heck does it? That's clean right too. Yeah, that's our new build right there. We so, just, did you do new build class and then no, limited? Limited, limited mileage combo. That's all all they're all three compete each other. So if you, you pay it right through there, that's the one everybody does. That's both seafoods. That's both seafoods. Yeah. Man, you, that's, you, that truck's a beauty. I thing. was telling somebody the other day, you, you Google both seafoods, that truck comes up. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hank Williams Jr. don't come up anymore. Man, that, that's amazing. All your trucks look good. Guys, these, these boys really do work hard, and I'm glad to see that you really come this far in the competition. From last year to this year, it's just in this the the people that yeah. coming up here. Everybody, I mean, literally, you had the whole entire trucking industry behind you. Everybody I've talked, even people that are competing against you, are like, Massey's gonna win it. Massey's gonna win it. You know? That's the fun part. Yeah, is it? You know, that, that's one thing I, I I think the trucking industry needs more of is camaraderie. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's so much freight out there and there's so many customers working against each other. Yep. We're only hurting ourselves. Exactly. And that's what I preach. Like, if, if, if we work together. We can do it on the industry. We own the industry. Exactly. So let's work yep. together. Exactly. Man, yeah. I'm glad you said that. Cause, and yeah. that's why you're successful. That's why I follow you, too. And I follow that. It's getting a lot better, and I'm enjoying the crap out of it and growing. Yeah, it's and, good. Uh, but this year, though, everybody seemed to be, you know, it seemed like there was more of a, you know, a lot of people wanted to be together this year. We got along. and Yeah. yeah uh, but, you know, the, like the, the CEO of, of Swift, he's the guy that doesn't want us to get to get along. Right. Right? Yep. Because if we weren't together, you know. Have well, you seen where they just bought out that big? You know, like where they got, they bought like another thirty thousand trucks or something. Isn't that amazing? I mean, if we had thirty thousand trucks, imagine what the industry, how different yeah. it would be. How different it would be. How different it would be. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, I will say, anybody could work for Massey, he'd work for a heck of a daggone good company, and I just hope to be where he's at one day and have I, have the company he's got. Yeah, I appreciate. Hey, Y'all go follow our channel, Stockville, on YouTube, and. Uh, Instagram and you're on Facebook too. And, yeah, the real Troy Massey on Instagram and then just my name Troy Massey on Facebook. But uh, I'll put it all down in the description, the link, the comments. Um, guys, put it, put it at the beginning because they probably won't watch the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I gotta say, you got a beautiful ride. Okay. And uh, if you need somebody to drive this thing, just uh, holler at me. Oh, go ahead, then. Go ahead. <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, you driving them back home. Load everything up. You gonna leave tonight? No, we'll leave early in the morning. Man, congratulations. Thank you. Glad to get to talk to you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you, you know, so you guys stay out here in the rain, the freezing cold, the wind. Hey, the... Someone probably in the trailer. Where's that beautiful ride of yours? This right here. Trading hey. now? Hey, <laughs> this right here, this right here, this hater made his daddy right here. <laughs> right? No comment. <laughs> no comment. I almost swallowed. <laughs> yes. Hey. Actually, this is the stepchild because mine's older. <laughs> is Hater Maid going to work Monday? It is, yes. We're going to work tomorrow. So. Hater Maid works every day. Every yeah. day. Well, every man, day. you guys got rides. Thank you, man. So do you. What? You I appreciate it. You a photo shoot or what? I, I don't, I'm scared to park my next to yours. What if, what if something falls off and hits it or something? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Man, guys, that right there is awesome. Troy Massey is, uh, he's one of the people I follow pretty hardcore just because, you know, he is like me. He started with just a few trucks, worked his way up, and now he's just huge in the trucking industry. You know, I consider him one of the big dogs in the trucking industry. I mean, look at these trucks. And this is where I want to get. I want to be able to build something like this and enjoy it and have fun. These guys have a blast. This is his 389X. Golly, bum, this thing turned out awesome. Semi Casual just finished this one for the truck show. They did an awesome job on it. It looks amazing. Guys, this is just some good quality builds. And I love the fact that he does new trucks and he does some old trucks, some miles on. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. This FLD, I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but it was that, and I'm sorry about the wind, but it's super windy here. This is the one that was at uh, semi-casual show. I love this truck. 
It's just freaking awesome. Dang, he's really done a lot more stuff to it since the semi-casual show. Woo, it looks good. Dang, and he does all his own work too. This guy does here. I followed him for a good while. Look, he's even got his brake pads painted. That's some serious detail. He works this truck. Um, and then here's the Jesco. Uh, I watched this thing the other night, getting judged and filmed it. This thing is pretty awesome. This family right here runs this truck is really cool too. They just lost a son two weeks before the show and uh, they made it out here. It's really amazing that they made it. I really feel bad for them because it was uh, a really bad situation. But this is the, the fluid rig trailer and it's got an awesome crane on it. The crane is wicked. I love this service truck. There's Whiskey Ben's twin, just polished up and cleaned up. Oh, baby, big Cascadia. Dude, they got some nice toters up here. Big Massey rig. I love this cab over right here too, man. It is sweet. It's an open hill. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice. motors in this thing. Oh, 3406 cat. Probably like an A or B model, I bet. Oh, it's in Lafayette, Indiana. Dang, that color is wicked, ain't it? Ooh, this is a good looking daggone truck. Freightliner, boys. That's a daggone Freightliner. Well, guys, the show is over. I just wanted to kind of show y'all what my favorite trucks were i have not had a chance to turn around or video or even think about video and how hammered we've been look it's got a cat in it i'd like to drive this thing i'd love to drive this thing look what if i could pull a boat with this thing <laughs> Dude, it's so cool. It would flow. It is so cool, man. Got air out on it. Holy crap. Yeah, you know it would. We can take this over and play the whistle and diesel. All right, boys. Last cab over. Evan's detailing and polishing. I've watched him on YouTube a lot to learn how to polish. I still ain't good at it. I suck at it. But he does have a beautiful cab over. It's so little. Cummins in it. Dude, that thing's beautiful in it. Oh, yeah. Well, there it is, guys. All these big fancy trucks. I tried to drive past this thing and I just couldn't. Look at this blue. It just pops. Oh, my goodness. Man, this really hurts my heart because the yellow cab over is gone, man. It is identical to this. Oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful. Dude, that's what I'm saying. There's The trucks outside the show are just insanely nice. Man, guys, this thing is gorgeous. Never mind the mule, just load the wagon. Tell me these guys don't take pride in their eyes, man. I've got to get an aluminum fifth wheel. I'm going to tell you right now, though, right over here was where they had all the show trucks, right? Yep. The, the, the show and shine and all of that. On the other side of the road is where I parked Orwell. Right over there is all them, all the trucks. And I'm sorry, those trucks are all worth walking around to see. Oh, yeah, they, they just are. Didn't want to I've spent more show. time in the parking lot than I have That's the what show I'm lot. There's, there's so many awesome trucks over there, and they, they just came to the show. They're not even part of it. Yep, that's what I love about this, man. I love the fact that these guys put so much work in their truck just to come and see everybody else's trucks. And probably, I'm telling you, I've seen four or five of them over here that have been a real close show winner. Oh, yeah. So, man, this thing's gorgeous. I'll lose a little detail. Oh, yeah, that, that is, I like that. Look at the pinstriping. That's my tattoo on this arm. Is it? Yeah. 
Dude, this thing is beautiful. So like mine's got the cigar. This thing needs to be appreciated, man. Yeah, yeah. It really does. Awesome. Everybody's loading up and heading home. I think everybody had the same idea. Wait till today to load up and leave and there wouldn't be nobody out here. <laughs> oh, there's the big monster truck. You ready to go home? I'm ready. Drive me home so I can sleep? You're right. I'm going to take me a nap. You got me too full. I am hurting. I'm so full. There's my favorite FLD in the world over there. Don't wreck my truck in the parking lot. Got this? You got this, Brax. You got it. I got it. I, I believe in you, man. All right, let's go hook up this rig and get the heck out of here. There are some good looking rides at work every day. Rayco just stopped by to say hi and take some pictures. God, I love this truck, man. I love it. I love it. You're the man. I don't care what they say. That's the best looking FLD out there. Woo! Heck yeah. Well, brother, be safe on your way, man. I want him to come help us work on our FLD so bad. God, that thing is just so sweet. Keep coming, keep it that way. No. Come over this way just a little. There you go, now straight. Hey, put the mirrors in. Yeah, we had a guy, Terry's truck and trailer, yeah. Terry Greenwood in Dinosaur, Iowa. He did the swap, swapped it to D Duck 5 and everything. And Dude, I, that 14 liter in my classic, that thing is yeah. absolutely ripping. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Like, Who tunes your stuff? Uh, uh, me and Mark Schaefer. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm good enough to where I'm dangerous. <laughs> And then he's kind of, he's like, all right, Tim, before you sling the piston out of it, I'm going to change this or change that. <laughs> you know, kind of one of those situations. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty good with the 14 there. I'm getting there on yeah. it. Uh, oh, mine is simple ridiculous. and cheap. And, you know, I have paper clip sensors to get home. Yeah. Just, you know, you learn all the <laughs> yeah. tips and tricks. Once you learn the tricks to them, man, they're, you know, everybody owns the camera. Man, guys, I love this K100. Air ride. This guy works this thing every day. It's got a 14 liter Detroit in it. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what's up. So guys, this, I love this K100. Love it. Hydrogen. 
truck. Yeah, I know. I'd love to have this truck. Big tank of holla. Well, Braggs, I don't think we're gonna lose the rest of our ramp, so. I hope not. Oh no, we're good. You ready to ride, bro? Let's get the heck out of here. We gotta go home and get some work done. Get some fuel on this girl. Look, I think that's the just trucking rig right there. Pretty sure that's just trucking. Yeah, that is. Those are for a secret. guys we made it back from the truck show we stopped here at sh tube we're gonna switch out trucks so we're gonna leave the cab over here try to get it ready for the next truck show and we're gonna take the pete home so this thing is it's time to get it ready to go and uh, i don't really have time to come back up here this week so we've got to move the fifth wheel back we gotta do all kinds of stuff for this truck we'll talk about it once we get home with it but Right now, we're gonna get them switched out. I gotta get it fired up. We got that little damn fixture right there. Come on, baby, fire up. Oh, baby. Y'all, it just sounds so good. I'm gonna pull this over to the shop. Oh my gosh. My wife's gonna get to ride in it. Oh man. <laughs> Guys, I forgot about this thing. And now I'm super excited again. Oh my gosh. Woo now tell me this ain't a ride. Now this is what I call. A chair back up. Did you pull up there and back up in that driveway and then come back? Rax has got to drive, don't he? Beautiful. All right, let's see if it 
Drive better than that old cab over. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing to sweet water. I love the clutch in this one. It's easy. It's like, I'm doing my better. This thing is so much different driving the cab over. Oh no, the cab over turns pretty neat. It does. Oh, we got a little bit of a be the first time pulling a load with this thing, you know what? Yeah. All I do is pour out there, back up. What does mama think about it? Did she tell you?
straight to work in the morning. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Oh, me too. I got a lot to get caught up on now. With me. I mean, I was going for West, going on that Western trip for a week and a half. Before that, I was going for a week, and then now we've been going for another week. Yeah. I've what, been home three days out of a month. Pretty much. I love it, loving the life, loving meeting everybody, and getting to make cool videos and be back in the truck. But this is what happens when I when I'm in the truck. I'm never home. It was fun though getting to put personalities with all the faces that we've been seeing on social media. You know. Yeah. Fans. Oh, I'm telling you, our fans are exactly like I figured they were. Yeah, they're cool. awesome. We had some really cool down to earth people. There wasn't a single person I met that I didn't like. Nope, every single one of them. Everybody was just awesome. No negativity. Everybody was positive. Every one of them was talking about how they had trucks in their backyard, just like I do, <laughs> in their fields. <laughs> <laughs> Parts laying around. I mean, just like it was just. Guys, it really was. It was a great trip. We had a really good time. And all the kids. I, just, I was so tickled about how many kids came out to see it. If there wasn't, I can guarantee there's over 400 kids in that truck. There were so many kids. And I, you know, you just can't rush a kid. There was a few that were just absolutely the sweetest. And I was so tickled for them to talk to me. They absolutely love you guys, especially Braxton. Yeah, Braxton was a big hit. He, he was, was uh, huge. Like everybody wanted Braxton, Braxton, Braxton. Wanted his autograph. Wanted his. Can you imagine? All right, so with Cletus, Weston, all of our friends that we have, yeah. all of them got all these crazy cars and, you know, and all the hot rods we've got built. Imagine our son is 16 years old. He will have the ultimate YouTube channel. Well, at 10, he's already pretty dang cool. So. Imagine all the things he can do in a truck and this, I mean, I feel like once he hits, once he's a teenager and can take over YouTube and stuff, I really feel like he's going to be huge. Oh yeah. All of our kids are going to mingle together and create this oh, yeah. insane universe. Like they're all talented in their own ways. I love that. And it all, all matches each other. Like, yeah. They can they're all a team. completely unique, but you put them together and it's Oh my God, we're back in Sweetwater. Hallelujah. I never thought I'd say that, but I'm happy to be on in my own bed. Guys, when I pulled out of here, I was freaking out. I was going to be late for the truck show, which it was early for me, but late for them. I can't believe I was a day early for something that started, you know, <laughs> that's just not like me. But just making it happen, getting the, you know, we... We knew what four days in advance that we were getting a spot. Four days, yes. So in four days, we pulled the cab over off our trip, got it ready to go. Which that truck was nowhere near ready, and looked nothing like it did once it did once it got to the show. I was nowhere near ready. And I mean, when I got the truck ready, I told the guys, I said, "Get it hooked up, or get everything off of it before we can get it hooked up." I'm going to go grab my clothes. And then still, my wife had to bring clothes for me. I just took enough just to get me through a night until she got up there. And then, pretty much, like it was always in the air. Though we didn't really know if we were going to go. They canceled our booth. Yeah, they they did. They canceled our booth five days in advance, and then one day later, we found out that they had made some big a changes. Big, a big changes. They gave us a big, huge booth with a lot of other cool add-ons so once that was decided i'm like holy crap we have to go now and guys if these... it wasn't for that i probably wouldn't have yeah. been period we would have never been able to afford a booth to go absolutely to this show. not that was outrageous i would guys, have never paid money for that i'm sorry but i wouldn't have. these people were paying forty fifty thousand dollars for these oh uh, there's some outside that was one hundred twenty thousand dollars like what in the world are these people doing and pay that kind of money to park a vehicle in a booth for three days yeah it was crazy when he told us what that booth cost that we went in i was like i about fell i'm like man there's no way we're coming we cannot come to that there's no way we can pay that and uh luckily they took care of us and uh and got us there they so did. um 
but there's a lot of things happening there. There's I was a, a lot of unhappy at the people. Beginning. Yeah, absolutely, but I mean, they came through in the end, so. Yeah. There's a lot of unhappy people, though, that got put out of the show. And I wonder if the staff or the board or whoever they are that's over all these different positions are new. Like, is it new this year? Or yeah, is it's, it always so it's, like it's under new management now. So. Okay. Who knows? We were in it last year, so I wasn't sure if something had changed, but a lot of people were unhappy. Oh, yeah. It was, I hope things get straightened out because we love Matt's. There could have been some kinks in the system. So I've been going to Matt's since I was Braxton's age. And, you know, guys, it's... I want that show. It's the biggest show of the year. Everybody has so much fun. We made so many friends, so many connections. I mean, it is insane the people that we met and had good times with. The people that's been coming there since, you know, for 20, 30 years, it's had trucks there that long and been showing trucks. And like Bubba Branch, you know, he's been going there for so long. He's like a veteran there. He's a big name there. So, and there's a lot of other ones there too. And I would love to be able to continue the tradition and be able to come in like that and be a name. I would love to go every year. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. What if you get all the money from Oh, I'd say whoever manages that show and does get the money out of it made Jack. Absolutely made Jack. I mean, you're I getting a hundred K for a booth, no, fifty thousand for a booth, sixty thousand for a booth. I know a few of our friends that were there that had booths. One of them paid fifty-five thousand oh dollars for the same size booth that we had, and I was like, "Man, there's no way we could never come. Like, we could never pay that." Absolutely not. Here. That's like half of our shop that we're trying to build. So yeah. Um, so all you guys that support us and made it happen for us that we could be there, um, you know, without y'all, we we would not have been there. You know, that's the only reason we got to come is because. We were, you know, there was fans coming to see us and meet us and come to the show and. There's uh, your school bag. Yep, there's Bracky's little school. We made it, guys. The 389 is home. Boy, Holly is freaking out. Mommy and Daddy are home. Holy crap, we made it, guys. It's so cool. It's weird looking without the mud flaps on it, but we'll get it back together. Guys, that's going to finish up her trip. Match was awesome. I'm sorry I didn't get to put out a lot of videos while I was there. So I kind of just made our normal life vlog. And uh, I really enjoyed it, though. Enjoyed you guys. My voice is gone. I'm tired. I'm ready for some sleep. I'm ready to go in here and see the babies. And uh, always, guys, I love y'all. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.